Hi guys, today we're going to do the Poppin' Cookin' Bento. It comes in this cute little package. And you should keep this because it's good because it has the instructions on the back. Of it, how to make the soup. And this. We have a blue, bright blue packet, an orange packet, a green packet, a pastry bag, a pink packet, an or a little orange packet, a silver packet, and a brown packet I have never seen before. And this is smaller than I have imagined of it. So this is what the tray looks like. And let's get started. Alright, first let's use the green package. Um, we should put in the water. No, well, let's put in the package first. Now we take our um, little water scooper and we get some water. There we go. There we go. Make sure we get all the powder mixed. Alright, while we let it sit, we're going to take our pink packet. going to put it into here. And we get our water scooper again. Scoop water to it. And the same thing again, if it's a small space, we mix it like this. The end. It's the best way to mix it with the end. We're going to make the rice. Now. And this was much smaller than I expected from in the other videos. So you take the big, um, so you take this big packet, you use your scissors, make sure it's all the way down at the bottom, and you cut it open, and you put it in here, and you get a spoonful, a little bit more. Makes like a crackling sound when you put it in. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Cause in the other videos I accidentally only like put one and a half in it. I'm supposed to put like two or something. it there for a minute or something. Now we take the this packet and we put it in the bumpy one. It smells like gum. It's like I think it's artificially banana flavored. Artificially flavored with banana. I think I need to add more water, I think. Ding. Ding. I'm gonna um, see if the, this is already done. Yep, it is. So I take my silver packet. 
It's like a silver color package, and you cut a little hole in it, and you have to like um, get it in these. It's like a little black kind of thing. This is the hardest thing ever getting it in here. Just saying, it's the hardest thing ever getting it in there. This is just stupid. So we um, got our placemats and we um, Make the little head kind of looking thing. It's sticking to my fingers. It's like actual sticky rice. Alright. So, let's press it on. And that doesn't really look like anything. Now I'm going to make the little balls for the ears. I'm gonna just like dip it in here. Now I'm gonna take my big orange package the rest of this out and now I make the, like the little triangle thing Put the sushi around it so go right next to each other I'm taking the big orange package and I'm putting it in here it's like the, it's for the, like, the little pastry bag now It's for the noodles, pasta thing. You put two scoops in it, and you mix it up. All right, so now we're gonna try to attempt to see if these are done. This one is, I think. Yep, there you go. I heard this is artificially banana flavored. I got this out too early and it's all soggy. Now I'm gonna get my um, pastry bag. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna it's in. Now I'm going to cut a little hole in it. These are for the noodles. This is where we make the noodle stuff. Alright, so there I have the noodles. Now, um, I'm going to see what the brown packet show does. That's it. wonder if those are like dumplings or something, because I don't really do Japanese stuff. Mostly, I just got these for my birthday. So I don't really know what to do. I've watched the videos on them a lot of times. That's a weird tangy like texture to it. Don't taste that. Great. 
It's like a weird. It looks like some, something that you'd find somewhere, like a bug, kind of like that. Like bug that a little bit. So, roll it up into a ball. Now I'm gonna cut it in half. Oops. Cut it into halves. Roll it up into like a ball. In shape. And I'm gonna put that right next to the noodles. I'm not really making it how the cover shows much like some people do. I'm going to see if um, this is ready. No, that's not. Oh, man. Yeah, none of these are ready yet. I'm going to add too much water. Oh, man. Yeah, this is the worst. Mushroom of my life. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, where's the mushroom of my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pipe a little more of this little piece stuff. Or whatever this. I've never done this before, so... Yeah, it doesn't look anything like the cover <laughs> at all. This to that. This to that. Yeah, I don't think that's good. So I'm going to see if my little octopus is ready and know it's going to be bad. Yeah, my octopus is bad. I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Right, so. Why does it taste like? A very sugary type of octopus. Like, what's the flavor? Like, Sugar fence, kind of. It doesn't taste that great. No, it doesn't. Now, going to my terribly damaged mushroom. <laughs> it tastes like a oh, disgusting. Yeah. Something. Tastes like appleish. What's the ear taste? It's a very sugary, tart kind of flavor. Yeah. Like tartish. Yeah. Here, let me try that. The tart flavor. Let me try that. Is that like chicken? Yeah. I think. Don't taste good. A very not good taste. Yeah. I'm gonna try a little bit of it. Oh god. It's revolting. <laughs> right now on to the noodles. It's like a really stringy noodle kind of texture. To it, see look at. It's like a noodle, stretchy kind of texture. What does it, it taste? taste like? Very yucky, like sugary. Yeah, I don't like it. I like it. It's good. All right, so there it is. My not that good already. Eight and pop and cook and then So bye.